Let's screen print some six color simulated process prints on white shirts. Let's go. Welcome back to the channel. Today we are working on a simulated process print on white t-shirts. It's a six color job. I'm gonna show you here how I separated the image. So let's dive into that real quick. We'll get back on press. Okay, we are in Photoshop. Here's the image that our client has provided us with. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to crop this down because we don't need all of this extra white space. And he wants this print as large as possible. So let's just go ahead and we'll take our crop tool and we'll crop this down as close as we can. We just want to give a little extra space just to make sure we're not cutting anything off. And we'll just hit enter on the keyboard. Let's go over to image, image size and see what we're working with. And we'll switch this over to inches. So it looks like we have 15 inches wide by 21 inches high at 72 DPI. So this isn't a really large file. We'll probably have to res it up a little bit. The largest we can print is 18 inches high. So it leaves us with 13.2 inches wide. Let's just go ahead and we'll hit OK. Now I'm going to come over here to where it says res up on action steps. I'm using action steps. It's a set of actions that I have created. I'll leave a link down in the description where you can purchase them. But I'm going to show you how I would go about separating this in action steps so that way we can get it on press. Let's go ahead and we'll hit res up. So that res our image up. It helped sharpen it as well. And we may hit sharpen just one more time. Let's see how that comes out. And I'm cool with that. That's about as good as we're going to get because the image wasn't quite at 300 DPI at full print size. So we're gonna make some magic happen here. Next thing I'm going to do is just make sure that we have our layer down here, labeled layer zero. We're gonna go back and check, make sure there's no additional channels. We don't have any additional windows open. So let's go ahead and we'll hit start action steps. Okay, so our separations are all finished. I can tell you right away because this is going on a white shirt that we're not gonna need a white base. It's, I mean, you could use a white base, but really it's kind of pointless a lot of times. However, using a white top will help yield some of those pastel colors, some of those lighter tones. It'll just kind of help tame that down a little bit. So we'll go ahead and we'll get rid of our white base. And we're trying to limit this to six colors. So white base isn't even necessary. We'll go over here, we'll change our t-shirt color to white so we're not looking quite so funky we'll hit okay now obviously we're missing black we're gonna need some black here and I'm gonna use the create black saturate feature here just to kind of bring in some of these extra details right here on the side of his face and that will put I'm gonna take the black I'm gonna drag this above the red because I want that to be one of the first things that I print so we can have all those colors start to mix and I don't want it to overprint on top of my other colors now let's go through we'll look at some of these other colors see what information is there we really don't have a whole lot of blue We've got plenty of lemon yellow and red We've got a little bit of purple here in the lips and throughout the face got a touch of green turquoise as well cool gray and we have our highlight white we're gonna go back and adjust this highlight white because it's little much so let's go down the line our black we need we need our red blue not so much but we'll figure that out here in a second we're gonna need our yellow our purple as well because there's quite a bit of information in his lips there green we've got a little bit of green here on the side of the face along with the turquoise and the blue as well so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to merge some of these colors let's just go ahead and we'll hit merge turquoise so we got rid of our turquoise i still don't think we need this cool gray we'll go ahead and we'll hit uh, merge gray cool gray now we've got it down to about seven colors we need to reduce this down by one more color so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take this blue and I'm going to merge that onto the green and essentially I'm going to kind of 
pick and choose what color I want on press because we've taken all that information already and have kind of merged the turquoise and we're going to merge the blue down into the green as well. And that will give us as much of those, that blue, that green, the turquoise, all just combined into to one single separation, one single color. And I'm going to use something a little bit on the blue side, like maybe a peacock blue. So I'm going to select the green layer. I'm going to come over here to image and I'm going to hit apply image. And we're wanting to take that blue and target the green channel, which is why we have the green selected. Our target is green, but we want to select the blue and we'll just keep it on multiply and we'll hit okay. So now it's taking that information from the blue and has applied it to the green. So we'll just come up here to our blue and we'll just delete that. Now let's run through our separations here. We've got our black, we've got our red, our lemon yellow, we've got our purple, and then we have our green. Let's go back and look at our, our green real quick. Uh, like I was saying, you can see the information here, what we've taken and combined it all into one separation. But I want to make this more of, instead of it being green, I want to make it more like a, a peacock blue, which is essentially kind of in between cyan and turquoise. So we'll hit OK. And then the last thing we need to look at is our highlight white. Uh, there's too much going on here over in the sides. So I'm going to come down over here. I'm going to click on adjust color. We'll take our white selector and I'm just going to get rid of this kind of gray area here in which it's applying some white there. This wasn't on a transparent background so we're kind of working around that and this will work just fine. So let's go ahead and we'll hit OK. We'll turn our t-shirt color and the rest of our colors on. Let's go back and relabel green, peacock blue, so we know on press what color to use. So we're looking, we're looking pretty good. We've reduced it down to six colors. Now the next thing I'm going to do is let's go ahead and we'll go down here to save as a PSD. And we'll just save this as face step just real quick so we'll save that but also we're going to prepare it as a EPS file so we'll hit save as DCS2 so basically what this is doing is removing all the RGB colors and it's reducing it to those six separations in which we'll just go ahead and save that as well and I'll show you the difference here in Illustrator here in a second. So we'll call this face step as well. Just something real quick. And we're gonna select Photoshop DCS2 and it's gonna save it as an EPS. Now we do have a RIP software. However, if you wanted to go ahead and take this a step further, uh, we're gonna use 230 mesh. I would use 45 LPI for that 230 mesh. And we would just come down here where it says action rip if you don't have a RIP software, this will do everything for you. So let's go ahead, we'll click on 45 LPI. We'll hit continue. Now the last step down here is going to be Merge Steps Now. We'll click on Merge Steps Now and we'll hit continue. And we'll just hit OK and Next until they're all completely combined. Now this is going to be in the same print order as before. This is going to be our black and if you wanted to, you could go through and name it. Um, but I know what colors they are. So it's essentially in the print order that we saw in action steps here. So we've got alpha one, which is our black. We've got our red. We've got our yellow. We've got our purple. We have our peacock blue and then our white highlight. Now let's double click on the zoom glass over here and you'll see that action steps has generated half tones at 45 LPI here. Same thing with our red, our dots at, are at 45 LPI, and so on and so forth. Here we are in Illustrator. If you do have a RIP software, this is how I would go about printing the separation. So I'm going to go to File and Place, and I'm going to show you the difference between a PSD when you save it as a PSD out of action steps versus the EPS file. 
So when I bring in the PSD here, I'll hit place. What you're going to get essentially is a representation of what the print looks like more so than you would the EPS file. So we'll just go ahead and we'll line this to our artboard and we're pretty much set up and ready to go. You'll notice over here to the right hand side we have all of our spot colors brought into Illustrator. We've got our black saturate, our highlight white, our lemon yellow, our peacock blue, our purple, and our red. Now it did bring in the t-shirt color because it does retain that and you'll be able to just kind of see that as a, a great representation. Now let's just undo that real quick. We'll hit undo a handful of times. We'll get rid of these spot colors real quick. And I'm gonna go back up to file and place. Now let's take a look at the EPS. This is why personally, uh, I do it both ways, but sometimes it's a little easier just to bring in an EPS. We still get that representation, however, the file may be a little bit larger, just depending on the graphic. And it doesn't have the t-shirt color in there, but it does still bring in all of our separation colors, our black, our red, our lemon yellow, purple, peacock blue, and our highlight white. So from here, the next thing we would do is we would just send it over to our RIP software and our printer, and we would let the RIP do the work. We are on our production computer in which we would send this over to our Epson 4800 for our oversized format printing. But a notable difference with a PSD, this is a PSD file, when I go to output and print this, we still have our CMYK colors in which we'll have to turn those off in order to make sure we're not printing the CMYK portion of the PSD because we do have that physical representation and we would just turn off the CMYK, the process cyan, magenta, yellow, and black and we would print out our six separations. Now with our EPS file, if you notice if we go over to print and we go to output that we no longer have the process colors in there and it is nothing but our spot colors that we want to print out for our print. All right, now that you have a good understanding how we separated that, I got the press warming up. We always tend to warm the press up before we do any kind of printing. We are not using the flash today per se, aside from just warming things up. So everything is going to be wet on wet. We got plenty of pallet tack down. I do need to change the tape because we did some sweatshirts, even though this is fresh palette tape. However, I'm going to show you the colors that we have. I know I just showed you on the computer how it's separated, but we're doing our black first. We're hitting that twice. It's all 230 mesh. We're not using a flattening screen because we don't really need it. We have a red, it's just a standard off the shelf bright red. We've got a lemon yellow. We've got a spot process purple. Then we have a peacock blue. And last but not least, to just make sure that we're not oversaturating this thing and to make sure we have some of those kind of more pastel-y tones, so we're not losing any of those, we have a highlight white. We have about 72 shirts that we need to do. Here they are. As soon as this thing's finished warming up, we'll start printing and I'll show you everything in action. While we're waiting for the press to warm up, here is the first shirt that I did. It looks pretty awesome. I've run off maybe three or four test prints just to get everything going, registered up, tape off any pinholes. We're looking A-OK. -okay. Generally, I would opt for a brown spot color, but our client wanted to limit it to six colors, so this will work absolutely fine. All right, we are all warmed up. Let's go ahead and start printing. I'm gonna run off about maybe 12 of these and go back and check my ink, reload, just to make sure, because if you run out of ink on an automatic, it's a little different on a manual because you can see right there in front of you. But I'll go back and check after about a dozen shirts, make sure we're okay on ink, because this is an oversized print. So we'll go ahead and we'll get this bad boy going. 
and knock out some shirts. I feel nauseous, believe me. Never had a lot of shit come easy. Had to work hard, struggle just to be me. Had to rise up just so they could see me. Did what I had to do just to feed me. And what was left over, I put towards my dreaming. But the only thing in life that has meaning are the things you gotta work for, believe me. Take into your hands a plan, your own hands can land your own brand. And damn, I feel like no one takes accountability. They want the credibility, convincingly unwilling to put in the fucking hours it takes to get some power. Don't be fucking sour, take a cold shower, scream until you're louder, work until you're prouder, and fuck all the doubters. They're just yeah. fucking downers. I swear to God, they all let me down. I always fought just to wear the crown. I'm pissed off at these broken clouds Who were all taught they deserve it now It's only worth it if you work for it It's only worth it if you work for it I won't stop till they hear me now I won't stop till I wear the crown came out pretty awesome. There's a handful of things I have to do. Just a, a little bit of cleanup we'll use with our blowout gun. Some of these shirts or, or screens I should say. Well, you know after we start working them we'll get other things that show up. I'm trying to find the ones that had it but it's not too many. There we go. There's there's one of them. Just a little line but not too big of a deal. It'll look great. Probably take me another 10 minutes worth of work to get these ready. Fold it away. Boxed up and ready to ship out to our client. Woo! Cold. Thanks for tuning in. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down in the comments. Even if you just say hello, leave a comment. Until next time, we'll see you later.